what a man can do, I can do better, Young Women Challenge Kenyan Society, World News, MSN, Outlook, More, Autos, My MSN, Video, Careers and Jobs, Personals, Weather, Bellish, Quotes, White Pages, Games, Real Estate, Wonder of All, Horoscopes, Shopping, Yellow Pages, Local Edition, Traffic, Feedback, Maps and Directions, Travel, Full MSN Index, Bing, Mknews.com, Today, Nightly News, Meet the Press, Dateline, MSNBC, Breaking News, Newsvine, Home, U.S., World, Politics, Business, Sports, Entertainment, Health, Tech, Science, Travel, Local, Weather, Advertise Vertical Bracket Ad Choices, Recommended, Arab League agrees with Kerry in a sub chemical weapons use and dash but not military action. Recommended, Passerby captures line roaming the streets of Kuwait. Recommended, Tokyo 2020 Olympics could be shot in the arm for struggling Japan. Recommended, what a man can do, I can do better, Young Women Challenge Kenyan Society. Header point top underscore header left curly bracket background image journal http slash slash c d n point lib point news vine point com slash chrome slash world news from cheese slash images slash header point j p g b equals ten thousand four hundred seventy nine right curly bracket First for breaking news and analysis, compelling world news stories from NBC News Journalists. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. About this blog archives. Email updates follow on Twitter subscribe to RSS. 104 comments. Print. 12. Hours. Ago. What a man can do, I can do better. Young women challenge Kenyan society. Slidishaw, young Kenyan women make their way in a man's world. Nithol Sebeki, for NBC News. Despite being one of the most developed countries in sub-Saharan Africa, Kenyan women still face widespread problems in terms of violence and sexual discrimination in the workplace. See how three young women are blazing their own path. Lon Slidishaw, by Nithol Sebeki, NBC News contributor. This is part of a serious future shock, millennials in crisis looking at how young people around the world are grappling with the transition to adulthood in a challenging global economy. Nairobi, Kenya chafing against tradition, a new generation of young Kenyan women are pushing to redefine their role in a still largely patriarchal society and to put a voice to the thousands of women who face violence and discrimination every day. It has a manis world, said Elizabeth Mattea, 20, who lives with her mother and two younger sisters in a utilitarian housing block on the outskirts of Nairobi. Having recently finished high school, Mattea waits in the family's modest but immaculate apartment for her university acceptance letter to arrive. Advertise vertical bracket ad choices. Just six months ago. This room was the scene of terror when Elizabeth's mother was horribly beaten by her boyfriend, and not for the first time. She was hospitalized, and eventually left him, but it has a scenario Mattea is determined not to repeat in her own life. The first day someone raises a hand to me, you won't he find me waking up next to him the next day, she said. You walk out, full stop. Kenya faces a persistent problem of violence against women, and not just at the hands of current or former boyfriends or husbands. Across the country, women continue to face widespread problems including dowry-related violence, female genital mutilation and rape. In 2006 the Kenyan government released statistics showing that a woman is raped every 30 seconds here, and promptly passed its first sexual offenses law though critics say it is too rarely enforced. Set to study criminal law, Matea is eager to change this. If a woman is beat up, I want her to be told, you can go to Elizabeth, she will help you. I want to be that person. Nithol 